In this lesson, we are going to read through the transporting food topic in the template food control plan. This is one of the orange colored cards in the serving and selling section of the plan and is page number 86. What do you need to know? When transporting food that would normally be kept cold or hot, you need to take steps to keep the food out of the temperature danger zone 5 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius to stop bugs growing. Follow the rules in the keeping food cold and or keeping food hot cards. While food is being transported, the vehicle it is being transported in should be considered a food premises. So keep it clean and separate food as you would in a kitchen or storeroom. If you are contracting someone else to transport food, you need to make sure that they will transport it safely, that is within the appropriate time temperature parameters. If you are using a delivery service, such as an online food ordering and delivery company to deliver your food, you and your staff are still responsible for ensuring your food is safe and suitable when it arrives. Food and non-food goods, such as chemicals, need to be kept separate to prevent food becoming contaminated or tainted. The requirements in this card apply to all businesses using this plan that transport chilled, frozen and or ambient food. Why is it important to transport food safely? During transport, food can become unsafe and unsuitable as it can get damaged, contaminated, or have temperature fluctuations. What do you need to do? Keeping hot food hot and cold food cold. Food must be transported and delivered at the correct temperature. Transport cold food cold at or below 5 degrees Celsius or hot food hot, above 60 degrees Celsius. You must regularly check this. Keep frozen food frozen so it is hard solid. Use appropriate equipment for transporting food so you know your food will arrive at the correct temperature. Remember to complete your plan by ticking the ones you and your staff use. Insulated bags or boxes, portable chillers, hot holding equipment. If you use some other equipment, ensure you provide details of it. Plan before transporting. You must manage anything that could cause contamination. For example, animals kept out of parts of vehicle used for food, chemicals kept away from food. All parts of the vehicle that you use to transport food or food equipment must be clean and sanitized if going to be in direct contact with ready-to-eat food such as trays of bread loaves or whole fruits. Throw out any food that has become contaminated, food that has been kept in the danger zone for more than four hours. What do you need to show? Show your verifier. How you and your staff make sure food is kept at the correct temperature when being transported. What method you and your staff use to maintain temperatures and keep food separate while transporting food. Show your verifier your vehicle used for transporting food. Show how you and your staff know your food is being kept safe and suitable when being delivered by a third party. Show your verifier a record of the temperature your chilled, frozen or hot food was transported at if it was not used within four hours of entering the danger zone. 